Hello everyone, this is Kumar Mohit, a student of medicine here at University of Perpetual Health System Delta. So today I am going to demonstrate in front of you that how to take proper accurate blood pressure. So many diseases which are related to the blood pressure. So we have to know how to exact measure the blood pressure. So while taking blood pressure, we have to just indicate the two points. One is the systolic pressure and the second one is the diastolic pressure. So systolic pressure and diastolic pressure are the pressure on our blood vessel, how much pressure is generated by the, our blood. So we have to know what are the requirements for the taking of blood pressure. First of all, we should have the two devices. One is the sphygmomanometer and the second one is the stethoscope. So we have three kinds of the sphygmomanometer. One is this one. This one is the aneroid sphygmomanometer. We have the mercury sphygmomanometer and the one is the digital one. But we have the aneroid one. So we are going to taking the reading through the uh, aneroid sphygmomanometer. So here we have the dial which here we will get the reading. And this one is the pumping device. And this one is the cup. Now the important thing we have to know of the cup should not be too much uh, tight or not be too much loose why because if it will be too much tight it might be give you the wrong reading or the hyper reading of the blood pressure now the next thing what which are the important points which we have to know and we have to keep in our mind while taking the blood pressure so first point is the position of patient the position of patient should be proper the patient should not be sitting with leg crossing the patient should wear the proper clothing so we have to know the width of the cup size should be about the 40 percent of our arm circumference it means we have to just measure the cup size of patient arm so the width would be 40 percent of the patient's uh, arm circumference and the length of the cup size age it should be the 80 percent of arm circumference of our patient so the next point we have to mind that our patient should not be in too much hurry and we should not take the reading in too much hurry because it might be manipulate our reading if our patient is coming through the stairs if our patient is coming from some tense work or some some place where we have done a lot of physical exercise then it may be manipulate our reading so we have to give instruction to our patient to rest rest at least 30 minutes before measuring the blood pressure the next point we have to make sure that our patient have not consumed any kind of the caffeine item or coffee like coffee and he have not done smoking uh, within last 30 30 minutes and if he have done then we have to let him instruct to wait for more time all right because it may give us elevated blood pressure. Now I'm gonna to demonstrate you how to take patient's BP, blood pressure. So before that, we have to know, because this is the corona time, so we have to sanitize our patient and sanitize ourselves also. We have been already done with that. So I'm gonna to demonstrate this procedure on my patient. So this is patient for me today, Miss Dubey. So now I'm gonna take permission first. So do I have permission to check your blood pressure? Yes. Sir. All right. She have given me permission for checking her blood pressure. So this is my cup. First of all, we have to know that the patient, whatever he is, he or she is wearing clothes, we should not put this cuff on the clothes. All right. So first of all, we have to. Will you please expose your arm? Yes. Yeah, sure. so, so here we have our patient's exposed arm so we have tried to expose it properly so that we can put our cuff over here and make sure while we are putting our cuff over here it should not be too much tight or too much loose so for that yeah we have closed it now it's fine we have to just insert our two fingers here now it's fine it's on a proper place we have to also make sure that the lower border of our cup should be about 2 to 2.5 centimeter about the anti-cubital fossa before taking the blood pressure we have to also know about some anatomy 
we have to know where if we have the, our radial pulse our patient's radial pulse where we will get our brachial artery or the brachial pulse as we all know that the brachial artery would be here somewhere in the medial side of the anticubital fossa so here we will have our brachial artery here we have the radial pulse so now we are going to palpate first our radial pulse here now the question is up to what pressure we have to fill this or we have to inflate our cuff so first of all we have to take a proxystolic point we have to just feel the radial pulse and now we have to fill it up to the point where the radial pulse will disappear all right yeah it is disappear about 110 so this was our approach point good and now we have to deflate it and we have to rest up to 30 seconds to one minute and then we will back again now why we took this reading first because we want we don't want to discomfort the patient with the higher blood pressure what we have to do now we have to just add 30 millimeter of mercury in that reading and we have to while we are taking the proper reading of blood pressure we have to just go to that place on the meter okay so what was our reading our reading was 110 now next time when we are going to take the proper reading we have to fill it up to 110 plus 30 millimeter of mercury it means up to 140 okay now we are back after 45 seconds so it's fine after 45 seconds we are starting our reading so as we got our last reading was a 110 and now we have to add 30 more on 110 so it was 140 so we have to go up to the reading of the 140 we have to inflate it up to the 140 millimeter of mercury so before that we have to tide our wall and we have to put our stethoscopes uh, diaphragm here on brachial artery which is in anticubital fossa and now we have to inflate it so now see the reading we have to fill it up to 140 millimeter of mercury and we have to now deflate it with the rate of the 2 to 3 mm of mercury per second so it should be slowly going down it should be slow and we have to check our first point yeah i got my first point at 110 yeah the voice was disappeared at 60 I have been observed it up to 30 okay now it should be deflect after taking reading we have to just remove this cuff from here and then as we have been calculated that our reading was 110 by 60 now how we have to write our blood pressure we have to write our systolic reading on the up and then a down we have to write our diastolic reading like our systolic reading is 110 millimeter of mercury our diastolic reading is 60 millimeter of mercury so this is our complete blood pressure measurement so we have to tell our patient that your blood pressure is 110 by 60 millimeter of mercury okay so after that we have to just make the proper documents so this is what the procedure how we can take the proper and the accurate blood pressure so now i hope we got the point how we have to do that and thank you so much for watching this